white people is not white people not gonna help our people, man. They not. And, and, and in fact, I'll be honest, that's not their duty. That's not their job. You can't go to them for 400 years. They ain't help us. They're right. not gonna do it. That's just stupid to, to think that they're gonna do it. They're gonna look at you like you're dumb. Right. For real, they're gonna look at us like we're dumb. Like you know, I'll give you an example. You 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 look at an animal and you open the cage, right? You you kept the animal in a cage for like. I I use a better example. You ever seen a dog on a leash or, or on a collar? And you know the, the leash only goes so long, but the first time you you know you take it off the dog, and the dog just never goes past that point. That's how we are. You know, a dog he he gets conditioned to never go venture past that point. That's us. They did that. Yeah, they did that. They they forced us into that mind state. But now they're just looking at us like it's funny to them. Like damn, they still Asian people came over here. They doing good. Arab Indian people over here, they doing good, but niggas is still at that point. They ain't even pass. One day we're going to pass it, but we got to actually come together and deal with these problems. Our people got, our people need psychologists. Yeah, they hate each other down on, hate each other talking about Black Lives Matter. We can't kill them all the Man, Black Lives Matter don't matter to black people. No, I don't. You got them, what's that dude named Big Judah? Big, uh, big Judah. Then you got Gucci Man and Young, jo uh, Young Jeezy. Gucci Man dropped the, oh, uh, played the diss track where he killed Young Jeezy, homeboy. And it was like, yo, man, Gucci Man killed that dude, man. That's fine. Gucci Man won. Like, but then we get mad when George Zimmerman shoots down Trayvon Martin and sells the gun for half a million dollars. Well, we make money off of killing our own people. We make money off of that. So this white boy can't do it, but you can make money off of it. Like that's hypocritical. We, no one should in our community should die. No one. No one should die. No one should benefit off of anyone's death. But at the end of the day, we're gonna continue having these hypocrisies in our community, these double standards. All right, bring out that piece up. Huh? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17, verse six, at the mouth, of two witnesses or three witnesses shall he that is worthy of death be put to death. See, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses is he that be worthy to put to death. You, women will hear something from one person. That's it. They know it's true. They know it's true. Men will go off the strip because he just believes his woman and go do stuff. I don't see men die that way. You gotta, we gotta be, we gotta set up a system where everybody is held accountable. Nobody is above the law. Nobody is above, what's up? Nobody is above a certain code. Everybody's held accountable. We just give women, all, all black men are bad fathers and don't take care of their kids. But all black women are uh, good mothers. But yet, when you look at the statistics, Majority of the children that are abused are Jew abused by their mother. Right. Most children who are abused are abused by their mother. You did you never knew that? But yet they say we're bad fathers. But yet we glorify them and say that all of them are good mothers. No, I didn't know that. See, but we that's the double standard we have in our community. We we just let black women be gods over us and never critique them or criticize them because what? The black woman is God. We went through we went through the 90s, the black woman is God. We went through the 80s, the black woman is God. Look, we not God, we not even kings or queens no more, man. We're, we're citizens and most of the work that we do is served to our work. We wish and hope that we become businessmen and women. Most of us aren't. I think 20, 20 to uh, maybe 30% of all black people or, or, or the or a whole in America are businessmen and women. So, how the hell are we? We're, we're, it's to the point we're delusional. This is what I'm getting at. We're delusional, and we think that we're these things, but we don't act that way. They, she's a good mother, but then she's walking out of uh, she's walking out of Magic City half drunk, and her baby's at home alone. 
but all black women are good parents. You, you see what I'm getting at? Until we critique our women and tell them what it really is, they're not going to get right. They're going to sit here and just justify their evil, or they're going to sit here and never change their life. They're going to always be a detriment and a baggage to the black community. And their children are going to be a detriment to the community because they raised these young men. These young men are beating women. I had a, I, I never was taught that. I was never to put my hand on a woman. I remember last year, I remember 2018, we had to stop a young man from smacking up his girlfriend right over that corner. Who taught him that? I know a man didn't do that. Because women say most, most fathers is not in the child's house. Never raised a kid. So I didn't get that. We need, we need the men. The men have to be back in the homes, but the women got to give that up and accept the man to rule over them. Right. The women got to let a man be a man. Until our women let us be men, we, we will never be at the top. Give me um, 1 Corinthians 8 and 11. 1, 1 Corinthians 8 and 11. We just, we just let our women just do what they want, say what they want with impunity. No, we don't even, even, you know, they talk about all this democracy, but the woman is, they talking about a, 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 a what would it say? A, it's a, it's a, a dick, dictatorship under a, a, a patriarchy. But black people are under a dictatorship under a matriarchy. Our women do what the hell they want, when they want it, Nobody judges them for it. First Corinthians 8 and 11. Bring it out. Huh? This is the book of First Corinthians chapter 8 verses 11. And through thy knowledge shall weak brother perish for whom Hamashiach died. So through, through knowledge, weak men perish, man. These women, they, they get smart. These women, they use these double standards to destroy men. There's women, I know women personally in my family who got pregnant by a man to destroy his life. She knows that in court that she's going to get the children. Why does court give this woman who doesn't have a job, who's on in Section 8 housing, when this man has a good job, his own house, his own car, and can take, better, take these kids better than her? When in the court, it says that women are more emotional and women have can uh, uh, have more empathy towards children. That's what they say. But where's the where's the study behind that? I just showed you that ma major there's a study saying that majority of children who are abused they are abused by women. I give you an example. R. Kelly. They they call R. Kelly a rapist. But who raped R. Kelly? It was a woman. <laughs> it was a woman that did that, but they want to mute R. Kelly for what a black woman did to a black man to make him do it to a black woman. The man is held accountable, but not the woman that raped him. You see that? It, you see how crazy the, 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 the verbal gymnastics of our community is? We blame the black man. I've seen that we got blamed. The black man got blamed for not voting for Joe Biden when he voted. 80% of black men voted for Joe Biden. We were the second most uh, category of people or, or uh, second category of the most under the black woman to vote for Joe Biden. But everyone's mad at us. Why don't you talk about the Hispanics when they voted for like 40% for Trump? Well, what about the Asians? I didn't even see no Asian vote. I ain't see no damn Asian vote. Yeah, I ain't see no. But yet the black man keeps getting attacked by these women. And you see a black woman, yes, we got to deal with these black men. These black men voted for Trump. Trump is not, Trump ain't going to help you, and Joe Biden is not going to help you either. Bring it up. Is that the truth on it? That's the truth. They not, look, 400 years of oppression. You think Joe Biden in eight years going to help that? We got to save ourselves. Give me uh, 2 Peter 21. Uh, Second Peter's two and twenty-one. We gotta save and help ourselves, man. We gotta. We can del with the money that we have in the black community, with the the most wise and smart and brilliant minds that we have. We still haven't came up with a plan to help our people. Bring it out, uh, what is, I think it's Peter. 
Um, go to uh, First Peter's chapter two and twenty one. First Peter's chapter two and twenty one. Yeah, check us out, man. Bring it out. This is the book of First Peter's, chapter two, verse twenty-one. Bring it out. For even here on two, we were were ye called, because Hamashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow in his steps. So we got examples from a man, not a woman, a man. Show me. Look, the men always have to suffer. All right, if I'm going to suffer for you, you better be the most righteous and order woman. I was talking to a brother on a phone, and he was like, you know, I feel bad for these women because they're going to get raped, they're going to get killed, they're going to get shot, they're going to uh, shot, they're going to get stolen. The only woman I'm really to risk, really willing to risk my life for is if I see a woman in the middle of the street, she got a hand wrap on and some fringes, and she getting attacked. If you don't got that, you're in trouble. You better call 911 or you better hope I just have mercy in that day because we're not going to die for some ungrate a lot of these men are not going to die for a woman that's that's that they probably won't be willing to die for a lot of these men will rather live they get another woman they got side pieces and stuff so we got to come together as a nation where we got to add we got to add a value back to our women Because we got to add value back to our women. Our women have depreciated their value badly. They don't gave, they don't gave the wrap up to every damn body. You got a piece of fuck? Oh, you want me to pull another script? All right. All right, bring it out. Huh? This is the book of 2 Kings, chapter 9, verse 22. And it came to pass when Joram saw Jehu that he said, Is it peace, Jehu? And he answered, What peace? So long as the whoredoms of thy mother Jezebel and her witchcraft are so many. Uh, yeah, man. And, and that's that's what in a precept that I'm about to get, too. Yeah, man. Let me see if I can find it. So you gotta understand, though, man. Jezebel, I, Jezebel was a Canaanite, but it's the same thing when you gotta because Ahab was an Israelite and he married her. That's why you don't marry other nation uh, nations of women. Right. But she was who oh, she she wore the pants in a home. Yeah. Ahab do this. Ahab worship this guy. Ahab, your children gonna do this. Ahab that. Ahab this. Every the black man is like that. Your wife tell you what to do. Do this. Do that. Do this. Say this. Act this way. You don't let the man rule at all. You gotta add value black back to the the Israelite woman. We gotta add value back to our women. Our women are, uh, uh, have no value. They depreciate their value. Our women are in debt, and we gotta get them out of debt. They in negative balance right now. A negative seven 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 balance right now. <laughs> we gotta pay for that. You got that? Give me uh, Proverbs fourteen and one. You gotta understand because of what Jezebel did. Um, damn. What? what his name started. Uh, start with a G. Damn man. Uh, he 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 took three hundred men. I'm trying to remember his name. Gideon. Because of, because of Jezebel, Gideon had to kill Ahab and his whole family. Because of one woman, so like, yeah, had to kill him and his whole family. For now, dog. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 1. Every wise woman built her house. Our women, we got to teach our women to be wise again. And our men. They got to learn how to build this house. They got to learn what it means to build and help run a nation. They feel like they... They don't understand what it what it means no more. They feel like they have to be in charge. They think that they gotta they gotta set up and and do everything. Because I'm gonna give an example. They usually for the most part our women have been trained. They have to be self sufficient. They gotta do everything themselves. That's what our women are trained by the society. That's what they're trained to do. But they gotta unlearn that. All right, keep going on that uh, four, 14 and 1. But the foolish plucked it down with her hands. 
But our women right now, they're foolish and they plucking down the community. Israel, they destroying each other. They take they take pride in killing each other. It's fun. It's fun to them. They set up they, they make their homegirls fight each other. They make men argue over each other because she she's she's purposely setting these men up against each other. You gotta learn how to build a nation and not destroy it. As a people, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we take too much joy out of seeing each other get hurt. We take too much joy out of seeing each other's downfall. We never see how a man became great. I'm going to give you an example. MLK, even though he was, you know, he made that false prophecy. He had a good woman behind him. Malcolm X, good woman behind him. Mark Darby, good woman behind him. These men had good women behind them. That's why they went far. Even, um, uh, like, uh, yeah, all the black preppers, like the brother said, they had good women behind them. Even, even, uh, when, you go, even when you go into uh, one of my favorite rappers, Kendrick Lamar, there's a sister behind him, and LeBron James. LeBron James got that same sister that he been had for years. And Kobe. Since he was high school. And Kobe, doing the same women. Had good, they had good men, women behind them. Our women think, our women want to get something without working for it. That's the problem. That's the problem. We want to see a man and be like, damn, he got all this. When you can get a man on your level and built to be up there, and it'll be greater. And that man will, it will build loyalty, a good relationship, and honor between each other. He's going to value you more. Instead of him walking around, he already rich and made, and seeing some random thought that want him. He think you, whether you have those intentions or you want his money, or you want his fame, or you want his beauty, most women want that for him. So even if you're generous in your approach, he's going to think that's what you're doing. So I'm telling you, and I see that in the truth too, a lot of these women want to get with an Israelite rapper. And then he sleep with you and throw you away. That's the hard truth. It's wicked, but you already know what you was getting into because you was looking right. at him. That's where it goes in what is I think it's Syrac eleven and one or one and eleven. It says, Don't look at a man because of his beauty. Man got all this money, all uh, look decked out with all these diamonds, and guess what? You you think that a bunch of women is not hitting up priest of Bach because he priest of Bach? These women hitting up Chief Ephraim because he Chief Ephraim. These women, no, nah, just hold it. I, I, I get it. I get it when I need it. These women, you got to find a man that is on your level that you can deal with. You're not, it's not going to be, you're not going to be that dime a dozen all the time that just runs into them. Like, a lot of the brothers that I know that are successful, they wise bring something to the table in their relationship. You don't look at a woman, that's where it goes into the Bible, it says don't look at a woman for her beauty, beauty is vain. We apply these scriptures to our lives, I'm not going to be like, damn, you know how many beautiful women I see every day? I see so many beautiful women, then I talk to them, and I'm like, oh, hell no. I'll be like, oh, hell no. Because what? You you understand that she doesn't bring no value. She just eye service. You can't be eye service in the truth, man. You got to be willing to put that work in with your husband. Give me, um, yeah, bring that out. Uh. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, also called, called Syrah, verse, uh, chapter 9, verse 9 in the Apocrypha. Sit not at all with another man's wife, nor sit down with her in thine arms. And spend not thy money with her at the wine, lest thine heart incline unto her, and so thou thy desire thou fall into destruction. And that's talking about being with another man's another man's wife. Right? But you got a lot of that in the truth too. A brother would be like, Oh, she just left this brother. And now you think that you got next. This that's all. Right. You think you got I wouldn't wanna do like Yo, I don't, you know how crazy that is? Let's say, she, you know, one of these brothers up here got a wife, and he divorced her, and I get with her. She's around him. And then when you put two and two together, when a woman divorces, or a, a, a man, 
and she's not in a relationship, but let's say y'all don't really get married, she's always going to go back to her husband, her last boyfriend, and sleep with him. So now, you're doing double sin. Because you don't know if this woman still like this man, which you know she does. She's, al she's already had emotional value and been attached with this man. And y'all around each other and it's going to make each other fight. And that, the thing is, we don't use wisdom like that. You got men in, a, uh, in gangs. The reason why gang members end up shooting each other. They done slept with the same thought. They done slept with the same hoe in a circle. And they was like, well, damn, this was my girl. And then, guess what? She's sleeping with the homies. And he don't care if he got a red flag. You slept with his girl. That's just wisdom. Our people don't use no wisdom. We stupid, man. We're dumb. Bring it out, Doc. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 9, verse 5. Gaze not on a maid that thou fall not by those things which are precious in her. See, don't just gaze at a woman because you're going to fall by the things that are precious in her. Right. They think, oh, the big lips, the 